I am starting with a small round brush and some strong black and I'm going to outline the pot of gold which kind of looks like a kettle too so if you can do a kettle you can do a pot of gold and this is of course hard to do on your own cheek at an angle so I'm going a little slow but you guys can go probably a lot faster pretty simple it's like a circle at the bottom and almost a half triangle at the top so if you break it down into those two shapes it is very easy to paint so I'm just going to fill it in quickly and then I am going to give it a little bit of a shadow and what I do sometimes is then just go right back into the water and kind of dilute it on the back of my hand to get that shadowy lighter black you could also use powder star blends or um, eyeshadow palette you have but when I have black on my brush already I tend just to water it down and then create the little shadow and then I am going to do some handles on my pot of gold as well and I'm just loading up a true rainbow because this of course is the gold at the end of the rainbow I'm using an angled one inch brush here. I do like using one inches for rainbows because I like to get all the colors really well loaded, but you can use a three quarter if you prefer as well. So just pull that up and around your eyebrow and then try to end at a little bit of a peak rather than the um, flat edge of the brush. Now I'm gonna take a large petal brush. This happens to be a chameleon petal brush this is a very easy way to make clovers for St. Patrick's Day. Just some permanent green. I didn't even double load this. You could double load it if you'd like, but I wanted this to be more of a solid green. So just etching out the stem and you can see that my green is a little transparent. The pigment of this particular green is not great. So I just kind of filled it in a little bit. And now I'm just scooping up some green glitter with a brush and patting it over the clover, which was taking way too long. So I switched to my finger because I wanted it to be really glittery. And if I'm honest, I'm just super impatient, but you definitely want to do this when it's wet. So it sticks and you get that bright sheen. I am going to go in with some white and just highlight my pot of gold create those little highlights to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional and if you're at an event doing this you can absolutely skip some of these detailed steps um, sometimes I tend to be a little bit more detailed on myself or for special designs but I always skip unnecessary steps when I'm painting at large events now I do want the rainbow to be really shimmery and feel very sparkly so I'm going to go in and do a lot of starbursts and a lot of small concentrated dots and I did speed this part up because I'm sure none of you want to watch me do a million dots and starbursts and you know how to do this so I'm just going to add them all over just remember to keep them balanced and keep them in groups. And while I have white on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and do the highlights on my clover. And a good trick for any design is while you have a color on your brush, what else can you do? If you can do more highlights with white or you know you're going to go back in and do them, do them the first time. It will save you time at events. Take some time to get used to painting that way. Um, but if you can it will help you a lot so add all your starbursts all your highlights at once and then switch to a new brush and a new color so now i'm going to outline my clover in black which i think really really makes it stand out so this is one of those steps i would try not to skip if you have time it really differentiates itself once you get the black around it makes it stand out from that rainbow and I'm also going to do a little bit of a shadow under my rainbow as well around my eye just with my watered down paint again kind of scrub it out with your hand it doesn't have to be perfect but it adds some fun dimension and now for the funnest part of this design 
is the chunky glitter. I am just using petroleum jelly on myself because I'm taking this off, but use glitter glue if you want. Grab a nice iridescent chunky glitter. I have no idea where I got this one from, but it is awesome. So I'm so sorry I don't know where it's from. And you just want to pile up the chunky glitter, of course, in your pot of gold. But then I do like to put a little pile at the bottom of the bucket or pot of gold, whatever you want to call it, and a little coming down kind of the center as if the pot of gold is overflowing with those gold coins. And not only is this a really cool effect, but it's way easier than painting in little coins of gold. So use that chunky glitter. Now I do have some extra just on my Q-tip, so I'm going to roll some around my clover as well. Just because I can't waste chunky glitter. And there is my easy St. Patrick's Day pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I hope you guys like this design. Please like and subscribe and do find me on Facebook and Instagram. I post a lot of different designs that I'm about to post videos on or just things I'm practicing. So please come follow me and thanks for watching.